on the 213-pound crew side of Calgary against the 223-pounder, Goldie Rogers, Hollywood, California. Shooter Rosenblum, manager for Rogers, has just taken a pounding from Hart, who clears the ring. We're just underway. It's one fall with a 30-minute time limit. And you can see immediately there's no love lost between Bruce Hart and Judah Rosenblum, the manager of Goldie Rogers. Bruce Hart has been after him since before the opening bell. Hopefully he'll leave some of Judah Rosenblum for Brian Pillman, who's going to be taking on Judah just in a boat coming right up. The man of sartorial splendor, Goldie Rogers, comes into the ring with those neon pants of his. Jurgen Herman, the referee. Hanging around ringside is K.C. Houston. Turned out to be a pretty good wrestler in her own right in the past couple of weeks. She's looked good teaming up with Ronda Singh against the Japanese world champion female tag team. But those little Japanese girls are very awesome. And you mentioned Goldie Rogers, his sartorial elegance. Well, once again, his wardrobe is courtesy of Calvin Couturier to the colorblind. <laughs> okay. Jim mentioned earlier that Rosenblum has to face Brian Pillman. Roll over, and it's just to pull him down again. Goldie Rogers, the veteran campaigner. Didn't take Judah Rosenblum long to get Goldie Rogers as part of his wrestling stable. You've mentioned before, Ed Whalen, that Judah Rosenblum, for a man who seems afraid to get in the ring, wields a lot of power with a lot of wrestlers in this territory. And he, Muck and Singh, and Great Gamma composed the triumvirate at the head of Karachi Vice. Bruce Hart, the veteran campaigner as well, although somewhat younger than his opponent. Gets a two count there. He is one half of the international tag team championship duo of Hart and Brian Pillman. And a young man who knows his way around the ring. Has had some injury problems in recent years with a bad knee, a bad shoulder in particular, kept him out for a long, long time. But here he is, back in action and looking strong. As a matter of fact, we talked about the injury plague career of Bruce Hart. He has been injury free for approximately six to eight months. But prior to that, it was a long, long rehabilitation road back to the wrestling ring. But he's shaken off the injuries and you can see his performance. He's looking good. Only Goldie Rogers might disagree. Rogers into that corner, takes a chop, goes for a ride. So far, Rogers hasn't had much to offer in opposition. There's the neck breaker. Cover one, two, that's all. Time for a little siesta. Rogers getting a little bit of comforting from KC Houston, the female wrestler who's unfortunately part of this Karachi Vice uh, venomous outfit and the head cheese of Karachi Vice sitting over in the corner, Judah Rosenblum watching his man. Your man Goldie Rogers certainly doesn't look very impressive in there. First of all, let me correct you, man. They don't call the president of the United States the head cheese. They give him the respect. So I appreciate if you do the same thing with me. Go for you? That's for right. you? That's right for me. Oh. <laughs> yes, Mr. Reagan. Goldie Rogers is not doing well. So I guess Judah is seeking respect somewhere. Five minutes gone. 
I cannot believe that Judah Rosenblum is likening himself to the President of the United States. The only thing they have in common is that after Jews, Judah Rosenblum fights Brian Pillman, he won't be able to remember anything either. Test, test. Rosenblum offering a little solace to his friend Rogers. Was he offering anything else, like a foreign object? I don't know. But we have every right to be suspicious. Rogers having trouble getting his motor in gear, finally makes it at the corner. Here comes Rogers. Rosenblum diverted Hart's attention. An old trick. It is an old trick, and I'm surprised that Bruce Hart would fall for it because thus far in the bout, all he's had to be concerned about is Goldie Rogers, who has been not Goldie, he has been fool's gold in there for most of the duration of this bout. <laughs> Jurgen Herman calling for the break, but they're at close quarters once again. You'll hear the chirping. It's not the Robins on the lawn. Jurgen Herman uses a whistle. Look at Rosenblum. Rosenblum's going to work outside the ring. He was choking at Bruce Hart, now he's stomping him, and you know now why both Hart and Pillman can't stand Judah Rosenblum. They've both been asking for a match with him. Pillman drew the lucky straw. He gets a hold of, of Rosenblum, who's still attacking Bruce Hart. Well, that's the only reason that at the moment, Hart has faded to some degree. One fall, 30 minutes. And again, Rosenblum gets into the fray. Hollywood, California, in action against Bruce Hart, Calgary, Alberta. There's a 10-pound weight differential. Hart, the uh, lighter man. But really, Hart has been forced to fight both Rogers and Rosenblum. Bruce Hart, one half of the International Tag Team Championship duo, along with Brian Pillman, must think he's fighting a tag team again because most of the action when he hasn't been in control has involved him going up against the duo of both Goldie Rogers and his manager Judah Rosenblum for his cheating efforts. Goldie Rogers now has a second yellow card, one more, and he's out of there and you can see Judah Rosenblum doing his thing again. Rosenblum just won't stay out of it. Moving toward the 10 minute mark. Rogers in the early going of this match showed absolutely nothing until Rosenblum ganged up on Hart while his back was turned, of course. You can hear the crowd exhorting Bruce Hart. It's go, Bruce, go, go, Bruce, go. Will it give him enough of an emotional uplift to get him back in this match. He has absorbed a lot of punishment over the last four or five minutes. Well, let's see what gives here. Big elbow, Jurgen Herman overseeing the proceedings, gives it a two count, that's all, as Hart kicks out nicely. Goldie Rogers going for a pile driver. It doesn't quite come off. One thing about Bruce Hart, though, 
we've seen him start slowly and have periods when he has been beaten from pillar to post but the man has got tremendous intestinal fortitude and if anybody can come back from a bad beating it's Bruce Hart and bad beating is what he's getting right now oddly enough Goldie Rogers bleeding slightly from the nose might have had his bugle busted Rosenblum, what do you want? I just want to make one comment. Goalie's really looking sweet now. He's really looking smooth now that he's in from my own camp. And I've been training him lately. He really looks good. We'll be training him. <laughs> I can imagine. And as soon as Judah Rosenblum started singing Goalie Rogers' praises, the tide turned and Goalie found himself on the canvas. Oh, that knee drop caught him on the head. Drops it down again. Hart has it under control right now. Drops it in. It's a one. It's a two. No, sir. Not quite. Well, one thing about goalie Rogers, he too has a lot of stamina and he, he doesn't want to quit. But look at that big pile driver. That could be the end. Bruce Hart now looking to finish his man. He's going to give him a little bit more. I think he might have got to count right there. Watch this. No. Rosenblum tripped him. Rosenblum interfering again. Well, if anybody is going to play outside the rules, it's Judah Rosenblum. And you can see why Bruce Hart and Brian Pillman just loathe that man. Rogers up top, one, two, that's all. Nearing the 15 minute mark, it's one fall. The 30 minute time limit. Here comes Rogers up top. He's going to operate at close range, too. Whoops, he's being joined. Drops him on the ropes. He got all hung up in there. This could be the turning point. He was hung out to dry. Here comes that flying clothesline. Bruce Hart's favorite maneuver. One, two, three. It's all over. That famous Bruce Hart flying clothesline does in Goldie Rogers, your winner, Bruce Hart.